What's going on guys? So today is the day where I'm actually going to be installing the ITBs into my car and before I actually do that I need to drill eight holes into the air filter plate because oops, it's not on this side, it's on the other side. You guys see right here my nipples where the ITBs are underneath the plate so I kind of forgot when I made the plate. I totally forgot about those so I gotta do that and then my TPS connector right here it's right here, so it's got to connect it into the OEM um, harness, and after that, um, we'll be able to put it in. But I'm gonna start by drilling these in, and then take off the intake manifold that's on my car, and I'm gonna push the car out a bit because cool is gonna come out. And um, so, how I'm planning on doing this is actually drill it in from here, each of the ports, and then drill it on the opposite end. So I'm gonna route it through. The velocity stacks go through here and then go, go through there and I'm just gotta make sure it doesn't touch the little links so it'd be good so I'm gonna just do that and I probably won't record it because I'm just drilling eight holes and then after this uh, gonna pull off the intake manifold so excited to see these actually in the car also thank you to 10k I already said that last video but we're at 10,200 now the channel's growing fast so keep subscribing if you're not subscribed and can't wait to hear these roar so scream or whatever you want to call it so i routed the vacuum lines through the base plate it drilled eight holes and it goes all the way through this one i had to do this one because there's not enough room over here and i took out the fuel rail because i'm going to be putting my ejectors on when i put the itbs on the car and these are all eco link i just cut them in half so it's four feet each and it'll be enough for the block, which the block is roughly like right here-ish on the firewall. So that'd be good. And I'm actually going to be re reusing my RDX 410 injectors. I was talking with my tuner. My tuner just said, just keep the RDX injectors. So I'm going to do that. And if anyone wants to RD RC 440s, I'll post them up for sale on my Instagram. Just follow me there. And yeah, so now the main thing is to pull off the intake manifold on my car. I guess what I'm going to do is push the car out almost all the way through and then just lay the ground or put carbon on the ground with a newspaper and then drain the coolant out of this portion right here and once i get it out there there'll be more light more light to show you guys but uh yeah so gotta take out the air box well i'll probably leave the air box for now because it's not really in the way just gotta take out the intake arm and then yeah everything else should be straightforward they're just um what's it there's 10 bolts if i'm correct one two three four Five, six, seven, or eight, or eight or ten. There's, I think, five or four underneath. I forgot, but if you have small hands like me, you can easily get to it. And yeah, just got it on play everything else, and it should be straight. Yeah, come on. Okay, well, TPS. Come off. All right. Speaking of vacation, you should try Mercury Insurance if you want to start saving. Take a few minutes to see how much you can save. Don't do it now, and you could start saving today at mercuryinsurance.com. All right, that was kind of sketchy, but all right, so a little bit more light here. So what I'm start off by doing is taking out the intake arm. Uh, I'll probably get the cash can out of the way, or. Uh, I think it'll be okay. And then take off all the sensors, unplug all the injectors, of course, most likely. And then, um, yeah, just untake everything off. And of course, my filter on here. So I'll probably just take it off right here and just move it out of the way. Since there's an A line, I can just move it out of the way. Or flex it, or bend it, whatever. But, yeah, and then take out the fuel return line. And then once it takes the whole intake amount fall off, that's when I'll switch over the injectors and switch off, switch over the fuel pressure regulator and then I take out this alarm sign and reroute this somewhere else and then mount my block up here run the vacuum lines from the bottom of the ITBs up to there so yeah alright let's get started you can Take your time. Main benefits of having your own lines made, you can move the filter out of the way without even like harming the line. That's one bed fam, I'm just gonna cover the hole real quick. 
And then now I gotta take off um, my fuel return line. And then that's when I take off this hose right here. This, uh, I think this is the heater hose, or one of those hoses. And then um, the whole thing comes out. The idler control valve, I left it right here because it doesn't come out with the throttle body since I won't be needing this anymore, especially on the ITBs, you don't uh, need it. Well, it doesn't have a hole for it. So I am gonna take this hose out, let some coolant drain out, and take off that manifold and the fuel return line and the whole manifold should come right out. Um, normally on these manifolds, or on all Honda motor, there's a bracket that goes from the bottom of the manifold all the way to the block. Bottom block it supports the manifold but my uh, motor doesn't have it especially on my single cam also I didn't have it just makes easier it makes it easier to access shit underneath so yeah I'm gonna do that and then pull the whole manifold off and then that's when we could mock up the vacuum block up there and put the ITBs on and hell yeah so we should be good getting there and yeah and then you get some food out this kind of hungry so yeah, not in a rush to install this, but I'm really excited to hear it start on the ITBs. So I decided just to take off the injectors and the fuel rail because it's a lot easier to access. So now I'm just going to take off one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think there's four underneath. And uh, yeah, it should come right out because I don't have nothing else connected to it. The harness is underneath there, fuel return lines right here. So I'm just going to pull that out and it should be good. Come on, buddy. Come on. Right. Now I should come out. Let's call it. Intake manifold's off. I just like go to Riley's and get a plug for this and plug it off because this is for the IRA control valve, which I'm not going to be needing anymore. And then this hose is going to go back into that manifold for the ITBs. And hmm, that's it. So. Now I just gotta mount the vacuum block up here and that's gonna be the main priority. But uh, besides that, oh yeah, and throttle cable back. I need to go Home Depot to pick up the, I need to find the bolt so it can fit right there for the throttle cable bracket, which I'm gonna be using the original Type R one that came with it or the B16 one. And yeah, so looking naked, but it'll soon be on. Uh, and I might just test fit right now so I can see how to mount my, what is it, fuel filter, so, yep. Check it out guys, the ITBs are on. Looks really, really nice. And now just gotta, I'm just mocking it up because my throttle cable, I might have to, I think it'll be long enough as I take off the brackets right here and then route it through underneath because the plate's under there. But besides that, if it's really good, it's gotta put the hose back on later. And the TPS, I think, is right over here, so it will have room, so I don't have to cut the what is it? The sensor too far. The TPS sensor is down there, but progress, progress, guys. And I need a what is it? I need to change the fitting on this one and hopefully it's the same size as my where is my AM one at hopefully it's the same size as my AM one so far it looks the same because this is a dash six I don't know what this is this is like a dash like four or something it's really tiny so I need to swap that over and then put this on and it looks like I'm not gonna be ready vacuum from there because this doesn't work on it and I need to figure out how to put a fuel pressure gauge on it because I won't know how much piece I'm running so yeah it's on there though all right, so I'm just finished. I'm gonna mac, uh, mount the block up there. So I actually need to plug off one of them because I'm not gonna be running the fuel pressure regulator anymore. So maybe like right here, probably. Yeah, so I have to take off the cow and then put the uh, screw in, screw it in from there. But looking good so far. Looks sick though. Some time has passed and I found out that I guess my RDX injectors don't work on it so I have to use the RC440s but the thing is my harness, my OEM harness doesn't plug into them so I'm gonna buy an adapter off like eBay or something so I can connect it from the OEM plug to the RC injectors so that's one thing I'm missing. Um, 
and I need to change that fitting. I think it works if I switch it through. So we're into a little more complications. Um, my brother spotted out that with my filter, the ITVs will not clear my brake booster. Right now, the only option for me right now to do to make it fit, I'm actually gonna do a brake booster delete. Um, I've driven cars with no brake booster, it's fine. You just, uh, you just get used to it. So I'm gonna do that and since I'm changing all my brake lines, I'm also change my brake lines when I delete my brake booster so I don't have to bleed it again and all that. Uh, but might have to hold off on this today. I mean, it's mounted on there and I might just do the vacuum block today and go run to Home Depot buy a uh, screw and bolt for that or bolt for that so I can mount on my throttle cable bracket which is right here. And I need to order the pigtails for the injectors. I need to order a new O-ring because I kind of ripped the O-ring on the fuel injectors. And hopefully this car starts because my ECU is tuned for 410 cc injectors and these are 440 so I feel I'd be okay but um, yeah so I just got to order some stuff. And hopefully I could get in before this weekend because I'm off this weekend so I could get all on and install it. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave the car sitting for now until I get the parts, but it's whatever. You can't be sad about it. But look at that. It's good, right? Yeah. And yeah, I guess I'll just leave it all chilling right here for now. Damn. All right, it kind of sucks, but whatever. At least it's in there. I'm just gonna push the car back in the garage and then order everything online. And once I come in, I could show you guys, but I'm gonna be reusing this, of course. So, yeah, I just gotta buy a new o ring for one of them. And it should be good. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so like, comment, subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And um, yeah, I can't really move any further. Just gotta do the throttle cable bracket. I sit in the vacuum lines or mount my uh, vibrant uh, vacuum block and it should be good. I guess got more of kind of problems doing ITBs, but can't be sad about it. Just got to order the parts for it and yeah, I'll say the car will be down until I actually get everything. So it's cool. All right, so peace out, guys, and stay tuned for the next video. And yes, this is not for sale. None of that's for sale. But yep, peace out. I guess before I end the video, I actually found a spot. Um, there was two black caps, one of them fell off, and then there's two tens, which uses these ones that came with the Vibrant, and look, it mounts right up. Hopefully I can get the car done in probably like a week or two, most likely. And once I have everything, it'll be done really soon. Because I like working fast and getting everything fucking done, so. All right, so that is actually the end of the video, so peace out.